Okay, we're back. Sorry I stopped it so suddenly. I just wanted to have it done, so... <coughs> oh, so it wouldn't be that long. Reminder, he is coming next week. Don't let him see Himia. Move her to third floor. Himia to be kept under observation of Ariel and Taylor. No midnight shifts for Taylor as he needs to take care of the twins. The sheet just flipped over. Where is this wind even coming from? No. Ah! Just run, just run. Um. 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 What? Who are you, miss? Huh? Whoa, whoa. Please don't scream. I'm not scary, I promise. Shh. Please don't scream. I'm begging you. You aren't one of them. One of who? Then how did you get in here? What do you mean? That door? Turns out that the Lancaster later what lay uh, Lancaster lady wasn't the brightest bulb in the box. The strange boy twirls an ornate knife in his fingers. That's the key. How did you even get into the tower? What are you even here for? Tell me who you are first. You don't look like you're working here. You aren't even wearing the uniform. Why do you even want to know? What do you want? What's that? Are you even listening to me? It's blood. Huh? You... Are you... A prisoner? I... Uh, you are, aren't you, miss? No wonder Dad was suspicious of this place. I knew they were up to no good. Don't worry, miss. Just come with me and I'll bring you to Dad. We'll definitely save you. Huh? I don't trust you. Right now, you don't have a choice. But I promise you, I'm not helping the people who trapped you here. You swallow. He's right. You don't really have a choice. I... I don't know what's going on, but... If you're telling the truth, then... Please save me. I beg you, I'll do anything. Alright, just come with me. Dad and I will beat up the baddies in no time. Strange boy joins you on your journey. Okay, so... Let's save. Okay. So, who exactly are you, anyway? Do you know who Lord Rothwell is? No, I don't. I'm not familiar with this land at all. I'm his son. Did you even listen to a thing I said? I'm his son, and that's why it's my responsibility to save damsels in distress. This isn't funny. I'm in a very real crisis, you know. So let's stop talking and move on, shall we? I can't believe a kid is talking to me like this. Huh? What are you hesitating for? We need to move quickly. Uh. Okay. Ooh, what's this note? Access to the second and third floors for authorized personnel only. Alright. It's here. Whoops. This should lead to the stairs to the third floor. There's no point going this way. <laughs> yep. Alright. Just keep walking. What? What? Oh. Do you understand what this means, everyone? Permission to speak, Alchemist de Lancaster. No need to be so formal, Bishop. What is it? Are you certain about this? The scripture really points to Hemia. This is not my place to speak, Bishop. The head priest shall answer your questions. He's currently speaking to Lord Rothwell. That Rothwell is such an annoyance. When is he ever going to give up? I thought we successfully convinced him the last time. Patience, Agnes, is the key. Ah, speaking of which, it's the only time. Can someone go ahead and check on Himia and see if she's still in her shell? I'll... Not you, Laner. I'm going to find someone who's dedicated enough to check the room thoroughly, not just glance into it like you did. Uh, I'll go, Alchemist. Lovely. Thank you very much for the initiative, Mr. Farlane. 
I'm sure the Cardinal will be very pleased with your work. Thank you, Alchemist. Okay, we need to run. Oh no, they're going to search my room. The ruler is gone. They're, they're so rude to my dad. Please, please just take me to this Lord Ruffle. Nobody else can help me now. What are you doing there? What? But how am I supposed to... Oh... How am I supposed to... What? What am I supposed to run to? Oh my god... Okay... Okay, we got this. Oh, I didn't get fast enough. Hold on, I actually got to text because I'm so popular, like, totally. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Okay, so, like, is there a way to sprint or something? Because, obviously, I need to learn how. sprint like I seriously cannot oh hey this room's open there shouldn't be any point going in here but but I want to go in oh my gosh <sighs> there like seriously is there a way to run All right. Now that is she sprinting? All right. Let's see. So we'll start here. One, two, three. All right. Now one, two, three. Okay. Maybe that. Is there a way of sprinting? I don't know. We'll try. I'm gonna actually try running left. Maybe there's something over there. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to move my freaking mouse. Yes, I did it. Ha! I, I've been going the wrong way. That's why I hadn't done it. Just as I thought. They're at the foyer. How am I supposed to get out of here? My dad's right over there. Don't worry. The moment I tell him what's going on, he'll arrest that fake priest right away. Then he'll be fine. Are you sure? Somehow I don't think this is going to work so well. So I guess they don't really have a choice. You even brought guards here this time, Lord Rothwell. You lack of trust. Mm -hmm. This is not a matter of trust. I'm merely a head constable doing his job. I'm glad you came, though. No better way to spend a weekend than to drink with an old friend. Unfortunately, I still cannot allow you to search this area without a warrant. You don't have proof that we're doing anything illegal. I understand. Well then, I should have to take my leave soon. Speaking of which, hmm, your cute son here is taking time in the bathroom, isn't he? Ah, there he is. What took you so long, my son? 
What did you say? Hmm? Well, I suppose I have to return to my research. It's been nice talking to you, Rothwell. The two of you, please escort them out. Not so fast, Cardinal. Are you certain that you're not doing anything illegal in this establishment? I've already said what I had to. Guards, please escort them out. I was right all along, wasn't I? For my son has run into something quite curious on the way. You can't escape the law forever, Cardinal. I'll personally see it that a warrant for a search is made. I... I can explain. If you really can explain, then do it before the High Court. Son, where is this girl? We'll have to take her back to the capital for her protection. You... you can't! So you are indeed holding a young girl captive here. I suspected as much. Do you plead guilty? I... I can explain. It, it's all for the sake of the Holy Scripture, you see. We're all acting in the name of the Goddess. We had no choice, you see. Whatever explanation you have, a crime is a crime. You have to speak before the Magistrate. Now, tell us about this. Sorry for the interruption. Now, come with us, or we'll have to subdue you through force, Cardinal. I... Oh, my back hurts. Good grief. I understand. I'll come with you. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Where'd my phone go? Oh, it's right here. Just... Kidding. Uh... Oh no, did he kill Raffle? Uh... uh. No! Dad? Dad! Why are you so upset? You should be glad he's dead. Even someone like me can see what a terrible parent he is, making his little son do his dirty, constable job. Huh. How do you even obtain such weapons? There's no way we can fight against them. Relax, my friends. You don't have to fight against me. No matter what kind of devilish nonsense your boss has been telling you, we're the good guys. Uh, ah, but wait, there's something we haven't resolved yet. Can one of you go to that Megaton who's hiding behind that wall? What? Why? How? I need to get out of here. What? There you are, Hania. Aww. Okay. Just run. I'm just gonna run all the way home. I'll just be digging my grave if I can go up there. Crap. I knew it. I got this. I got this. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, I did it. You find a cloak belonging to one of the researchers. You didn't see me running in. Maybe I can disguise myself temporarily with this? Put it on. My pursuer is gone. All I have to do now is go to the foyer and run away. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Just act cool. Oh, I want to look at myself in the mirror. The foyer swarmed with them. That poor boy is there, too. Even if I'm dressed like this, they're going to notice if I open that door. Maybe I should just approach the door slowly and make a break for it. I should avoid getting too close to them, just in case. 
This is it. Once I break through this, it's time to make a run for it. The results won't be pretty, but I've really got no choice. Get lost! I'm not going to listen to you! Let me go! Uh, oh, I don't want to leave him. Uh, I don't remember much of what happened after. I still held the useless glass knife from my previous botched up attempt at alchemy. And with it I... Aww. Aww. The moment I withdrew my knife and saw an ugly wound gaping at me where I stabbed him. Immediately I felt a terrible pain in my stomach. Ah, Mikachan, you incompetent dudes. You can't ever hurt another person. Not even the traditional way? Ugh. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. I just hurt him a little, that's all. He isn't dead. He can't possibly dead from just a small wound like that. Oh, goddess, please stop hurting me. I didn't kill anyone, please. It's just a scratch. I didn't kill him. Please don't kill me. Huh. At least I've lost them. Why did I bother saving that boy? I don't know where he ran off to after that, and now I'm stuck with this injury. I'd better stop the bleeding first before I faint. It really hurts. Using whatever concentration I could muster, I sealed up the wound with that dreaded power of mine. No time to waste. I kept walking. Aww. Ah, for the first time I realized the feeling that woke up in me. Alright, and I'm going to end this episode here, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.